Good morning. Uh, this is Anya Divine here, uh, 30 Days of Art with Anya. And today is day 25, no, 26. And unusually for me, I've started by putting some collage pieces already uh, down on the paper. I'm not sure why I did that. I think maybe because it's such a big sheet and I thought it would be good to have a start before the before the 10 minute video begins. And also to kind of see whether this would work or not. I don't normally mingle collage and watercolour like this. Um, so let's see what happens. I do mingle watercolour and collage, but not like this. I don't usually start a watercolour painting with, with collage. But these, um, these clothes are uh, one dress is Erin's from when she was wee, this red one. And the jacket over it is, is one that my friend made for Hope, my eldest daughter, when she was a baby. It's made by my friend Mary Kelly. And the third is a little dress that Lily had for Halloween. And these are... Um, treasured items really because they bring me back and I just love the pattern on them and yeah so I'm going to see if I can identify them very clearly each from the other it's colour and pattern and this, this red is um I think it's permanent rose I just found a tube and it seems to work And I want to continue moving fairly swiftly so that I can make sense of things towards the end if need be. So I'm going to move up to the Halloween pumpkin dress now. I like the I like the way that the fringe you can't really see it so much here. Let me show you. I like the way the um, edge of the the sleeve of the pumpkin dress is kind of one edge of that V between the orange jacket and the orange dress. I like the, um, from where I am, you can see these lovely little shapes extending into that V, v shape, into that space of, yeah, into the space between. Okay. Okay. No, I think that needs to be a little bit more of a yellowish orange, so I'm putting yellow ochre and lemon yellow in there to dull that colour down a bit and take some of the red out of it. It's good to it's good to know that I can always um continue adjusting things with oil pastel or whatever even after these orange and reds go down. <coughs> I like the shape of that drip so I'm just gonna gather it while it's full rather than letting it run. Just some little bit of this orange <coughs> next. <coughs> so the yellow ochre. Uh, a little bit of cadmium orange too. For the lightest part, I think it's more pure cadmium orange or not. I'll get a clean, get my cleaner brush. It's slightly smaller as well. Okay, so I'm just putting some pure cadmium orange here. So this is explaining one side of that V I was talking about. 
within which these little v, the little um, the fringe extends into that space. So this is me explaining the V shape. Okay, and then this right here. I'm just going to use my drinking water because it's a bit cleaner than the painting water. So I'm conscious of wanting to make this orange jacket a different shade from the dress, the orange dress. And to just define the three different garments from each other, not fully, you know, like really carefully drawing or anything, but just to somehow tell them apart for myself to have some order. I just remember how helpful it is to establish the darks too. So far I've just really found the light in this jacket. But there's a lovely gold richness to that. I'm not sure the shadow is so important. I think a burnt sienna. I think a burnt sienna in there would be nice. Maybe with some modern wing blue. I don't know if you can hear Muji in the background there. I'll just put on a silent sitting. There's this very dark shadow in here. some felt pens here. Which even this body of yours is perceived. Mm. Let me just show you a little bit more closely what I'm up to there. So it's going to using 
a variety of mark. So just the felt tip to draw those buttons and some of the details of that dress. I quite like that combination. Hmm, don't know how if I can get you back in position here. That's okay. Um, there's some more red. I'm going to use the alizarin crimson this time. I put this patterned piece on for the Julie collar. I want to make it more alizarin in colour now. I think that's how it is. Maybe a touch of cadmium too. I'm really bright that up here. I'm just going to touch the paint on the tube because I want it brighter than that. A bit of a colour where the light is hitting it. Mara goes outside and then determined to not go and get her until I finish this video. Which is just under two minutes now, so I'm going to post the picture as the image on the YouTube video so that you can see what happened next. And then today I'd encourage you to have a look for anything, like any garments that are um, special in your life and maybe do a drawing or a painting of them. And the sketch in the back of the envelope is still a perfectly valid way of operating. You don't have to do paintings every day. Okay, right, so that's it for the video anyway, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, just a few days left. This is the, the countdown now, so there's the picture so far, I'm going to keep going with that, and I'll post it as I say on the video. Okay, have a lovely day, All right, see you.